The precious gem industry has fallen on hard times, and it's not just on account of lab-grown versions. It's also due to changing consumer patterns while the lab-grown diamonds are just as dazzling. What lab-grown diamonds have done is opened up the door for very pretty, very affordable, very meaningful jewellery to another segment of the population who couldn't afford the natural diamonds. Last year, De Beers unveiled its new origin strategy to enhance value across its business from mining through to retail. But changing market dynamics have forced it to shut its lab-grown unit outpriced by cheaper man-made stones. Many of us in the industry were quite critical of De Beers uh, allowing synthetics into the jewellery industry to begin with uh, because that we saw as being a catalyst for all the other kind of wannabes in the industry. And by taking it away, uh, and by focusing entirely on natural diamonds, I think that will be one of the, the key elements uh, to seeing a, uh, a resurrection in the diamond industry. But the pressure doesn't stop there. U.S. tariff uncertainty is rattling markets, and Botswana, the world's top diamond producer by value, is slashing growth forecasts as sales plummet. Mines such as Arapa, uh, which is the largest diamond mine in the world, uh, have had much of their, their bottom end replaced by uh, synthetics, which has meant to a, a price drops of between 50 and 60 percent or more. So that's dropped significantly uh, the, uh, the income coming into Botswana. The industry, already scarred by conflict and environmental concerns, barely bounced back after the pandemic. Now, a shifting U.S. trade policy is complicating matters. Easily 75% of the world's diamonds are cut and polished in India. And there's massive tariffs, there's 50% tariffs on India. The U.S. does not mine diamonds. The U.S. does not mine any gemstones, really. So the entire industry for jewellery is almost virtually imported into the U.S. So the tariffs are going to have a huge effect. Lab-grown gems are significantly cutting into profits of diamond miners and look set to keep the industry under pressure for the rest of the decade. Beryl Oro, CGTN.